Hi, it's Ray Edwards and welcome to my 30-day vlogging experiment. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers and vlogs and thinking, I would like to do that and I can't do it like anybody else. I've seen Casey Neistat and I've seen Ben Brown and all the, all the greats of YouTubing. I can't do those things. I can only be me. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do a 30-day experiment and see if it's worth actually continuing to do. And what makes it worth it? How, do I, how will I know? I will measure it by your response. If you find this valuable, then I'll keep on vlogging. And if you don't, then I'll stop because who needs more stuff they don't need to hear or want to hear? Nobody, that's who. So today's topic is why I stopped watching The Walking Dead. Now you may or may not know that The Walking Dead has long been one of my favorite television shows. And uh, a lot of people, especially my Christian brothers and sisters would say to me, how can you watch that because it's so evil? It's about such terrible demonic things. And I would say, oh, you don't understand. It's not about that at all. It's about hope. It's about how people in a terrible situation, in the worst of situations, are able to rise up and you see the best that's within them. And I feel like that was true at the beginning of the series. And I, be I think it became less and less true as time went by. And the reason I believe is because the things that thrilled us, that entertained us in the past, lose their effectiveness. We need something more as time goes by. It's one of the hallmarks of addiction, right? Because the, the amount of the hit that you get from whatever you're addicted to decreases over time. It's less effective. You build up a tolerance for it, so you need more. And what I found was The Walking Dead, it seemed to me, was cranking up the level of intensity and the level of things that would horrify you. And this season, the season opener, brought it to a crescendo. I saw things in the season opener that disturbed me so deeply I realized I can't keep watching this. Now, let me be clear. I'm not making you wrong if you watch it. I'm not making the producers and writers of The Walking Dead wrong for making it. I'm not saying that it might not be okay for you. I'm just sharing my experience. So this is not prescriptive for anybody. It's simply descriptive for me. And if you hear something of value in what I have to share, then you can do with it what you will. Here are the three emotions that watching the season opener to The Walking Dead created in me that I realized I could not and would not continue to feed. Because we feed emotions by what we put into our brain and what we put into our heart. And one of the most powerful ways to put things into your brain and into your heart is through the field of entertainment, through watching movies and television shows, through images and through music. And when you combine all those things together into a motion picture or a television show, you have a powerful influencer of what is happening inside of you. I've often said, what entertains us inhabits us. So one question to ask yourself is, as you're watching your entertainment, whatever it is, you might ask yourself, do I want this spirit of whatever I'm watching, do I want that to inhabit me? Do I want that to inhabit my thoughts and my heart and my emotions? And for me, the answer when I saw the season opener to The Walking Dead was, no, I do not want to be inhabited by this. And it was mainly because of the three emotions that were disturbing me that were created inside of me by watching it. And here's what they are. I'm all, enough with the lead up, Ray. Just tell me what you're talking about. Number one, the first emotion that watching that show created inside of me and fueled and fed inside of me was a feeling of hopelessness. I just felt like this situation that these people find themselves in is hopeless. And hopelessness is at the root of the deepest, darkest depression. It's at the root of feeling suicidal because we feel like there is no hope. Things are terrible and they're only going to get worse and they're never going to get better. That's hopelessness. So I, I can't live with that. I can't feed that emotion inside myself. I have enough things in my life that could conspire to make me feel a sense of hopelessness. I don't need to add to that fire. Now, number two was a feeling of anxiousness or anxiety. What is anxiety? It's fear about things that are going to happen but have not happened yet. In fact, I'm not going to give any spoilers away, so don't worry if you're still watching the show, and I'm not judging you. If you're watching it then, and you're enjoying it, then more power to you. Enjoy it. So I won't spoil it for you, but there is a point in the story where someone says, think about what has happened, think about what could happen, and think about what might still happen. And for me, that was like an incantation of be more anxious, have more anxiety, not just to the characters in the show, but to me, the, the viewer. I don't need more anxiety in my life. I don't need anxiousness. And the third emotion that this show was creating inside of me was a feeling of helplessness. And helplessness has two aspects. It, is, it means that I cannot help myself, I'm helpless. 
And it also means that there's no help coming from the outside. There's no help coming to me from anywhere. There's no help coming to me from God, for instance. And I believe in God. I believe in His Son, Jesus Christ. And I believe that because of Him, we have hope and we have help. And for me to buy into the idea that life is hopeless, that life is a state of helplessness, is just ridiculous and it is not consistent with my core beliefs. It was in conflict with those core beliefs. And you might say, well, you're just watching an imaginary TV show. Yeah, but you know we have to suspend our disbelief and enter into that realm, that world, when we're watching a TV show to really enjoy it, right? We put ourselves in the story. So I was fueling inside my own heart and my own mind the feelings of hopelessness, anxiousness, and helplessness. And I could not do that. In fact, I want to live my life with the opposite three emotions. And those opposite three are hopefulness, in other words, being full of hope, and peacefulness, which is the antithesis of anxiousness, and helpfulness. And if I feel full of help, and full of hope and full of peace, if I'm filled to the brim, I will overflow with those qualities, with those emotions, and that will spill over to other people in my life. So when I'm around other people, they will feel more hopeful. They will feel more peaceful. They will feel that they have help from inside and from outside. I want them to feel those things because I feel like that's what their Creator made them for, not for the opposite, not for the terrible, horrifying, hopeless, helpless, anxious emotions. I don't, I don't need those. So that's why I stopped watching The Walking Dead. What about you? Do you think what we are entertained by inhabits us? What entertains us inhabits us. That's a strange thought, but do you agree with that? Do you disagree? I would love to hear your reaction to that and to this 30-day vlogging experiment. Should I keep going? I'm going to for 30 days, but should I keep going after that? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you don't agree, give me a comment. Respond in some way. That's what I'm looking for, a reaction. And if you're not watching this at my blog at rayedwards.com, then head over there and sign up for my email newsletter. And if you do that, then I will let you know when we have a new video coming out and what it's about. So you'll be able to know, do I want to watch that or not? I'll tell you this, every video I make for the next 30 days will be hopeful, will encourage peacefulness, and will encourage a sense of helpfulness. That's what I'm aiming for in this 30-day vlogging experiment. So until we meet again tomorrow, God bless you. And may you be filled with hope, May you know that you are helped, that you are guided, and may you be filled with peace that is so peaceful you can't even understand it. See you tomorrow.